Hi there, it's Michelle Bell, exclusive Black Status presenter with Unique, and I wanted just to quickly show you how to find your domain. Now, you do not have to purchase a domain, a separate domain, with your Unique business. However, I strongly suggest it, and here's why. If you're going to have to tell someone to find your website and you tell them, hey, go to uniqueproducts.com slash, you know, and then your name, first of all, that's really long. Second of all, unique is kind of a different way of spelling it. And so they have to remember to do forward slash and uniqueproducts.com and blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's just a lot of stuff. And it won't fit on a business card very easily or the back of your car if you want to do a decal. So I highly, highly, highly suggest you purchase a website domain. It's about 11 to $13 um, depending on the name and depending on what service that you use. But it's something that will make your life so much easier. So what you need to do is I recommend GoDaddy.com. They're really great to work with. Their customer service is excellent, and the prices are pretty comparable. Um, and you can see here, you can choose different kind of domains, but obviously a .com is going to be the most it's going to be the easiest to do. So you can try searching for different names, okay? Um, some might already be taken. You might have to get a little bit creative. But I can also do, you know, something that has my name in it. Here are the criteria you want to think about when you're choosing a domain name. Number one, easy to spell. Don't do something weird with numbers or something, you know, clever, you know, where you have it, where you have to spell it out for people. Please don't do that. You're going to hate it and they're going to misspell it. Okay. Make it easy so that if you say it to them, they know how to spell it. You don't have to spell it out to them. Okay. So if your name is a little bit unique, maybe you don't want your name as part of your domain. Okay, maybe you could be lash the lash girl .com or something like that if it's if it's still available. So um, you also want to make it so it's not too long. Okay, again, fit on a business card, fit on the back of a decal. You can say it really quick. Okay, so easy to say, easy to spell, not too long. All right. So then you're gonna click search for a domain, and we can say yay, make it by Michelle. That's pretty simple. Okay, there's there are two ways to spell Michelle, but we can hopefully get that one right. Okay, and .com. I oh, <laughs> that's an auction. So that means someone's purchased it, but they're selling it. Okay, so I'd have to pay a lot to get that. So let's not do that one. So you can kind of get creative. Okay. Um, you know, and you might, it might take you a few minutes to find one that you already like. So you're going to see there's going to be a lot that are already taken. I mean, we do have 150,000 plus unique presenters. So not all of them have their own domain, but that's a good chance that a lot of them do. Okay. So the cool lash lady.com. Let's see if that one's there. It's available. Perfect. Okay, so the coollashlady.com. That's available. Um, only $2.99 when I register for two years. So then you can click select. So you're gonna go through the process and purchase it. Now, GoDaddy is a you know, they're trying to sell you stuff. So when you check out, they'll ask you if you want hosting and do you want this and do you want that and do that. All you need is the domain. You don't need to purchase anything else. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to one I've already purchased. So once you've purchased it, here's how you connect it to your website, okay? So you click on my account, okay? And cl click on my domains, manage my domains. Or you can click on visit my account. That'll kind of take you to the same spot. So once you get to here, you're gonna click on domains, manage. So they have all sorts of other services, hosting, email, website builder, all that good stuff. But we just wanna go to the domains. I go a little domain crazy. I've purchased quite a few, okay? So um, don't ask me why, but I just have. So I'm going to go to, like, let's say, for example, yourfablashes.com, okay? So what I can do is, actually, let's do Unique by Michelle Bell. So you can have Unique in the domain name, but if you do, it needs to be uni Unique by your name. So I actually first had done this, and I had to change it because it wasn't my name. So be aware that's a compliance issue. And I would also suggest that you get your domain approved by compliance so you make sure it's acceptable. But again, as long as if you're going to use unique, it needs to be unique by your name. Just click here and you click forward. Literally, this is how simple it is. So you log in, my domains, go to the domain, forward. Okay? 
So I'm going to add forwarding. And you have two choices here, okay? You can do it directly to your unique site. Okay, I can make it permanent, forward only. Don't do masking, just do forward only, okay, and then add. I could do that, and I would take them to my home page. So let's, let me open up a new tab here, and I'll show you where that would go. So uniqueproducts.com slash Michelle Bell. There's my unique site. That's going to take them right to here. But what if I have open parties and I want people to always order from my open party? Well, if I'm willing to update my forwarding every 10 days, here's what you can do. So this is a little bit more technical, not a lot, but here's what you can do. So you can log into your website, okay? I guess I wasn't logged into Facebook. <laughs> okay, schedule a new party. And you should always have a party going every 10 days. So I'm just going to set this really quick. This is a tutorial on how to set up a party, but I'm going to set it for 10 days. Okay, save my party. Now here's what I can do. Here's a link to my party right here. So I can copy that, and then I can go back to the domain. Okay, and instead of just going to my generic website, I can make it go specifically to that party, okay? So now in 10 days, I'll just want to switch out this number here to my new party. So it's like two minutes of your time every 10 days. So it's not too hard. Put it in your calendar if you want to remember it or start a party on the 1st, on the 10th, on the 20th, on the 30th. You know, that kind of help you too. If you forget, it's just going to go to say that the party's closed, but it will still take them to your website. So not a huge deal, okay? So here we go. Website add, okay, update forwarding. So I'm going to click save, and that's it. So it only takes a few moments, okay? So a few moments, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait, let's see if it's going to work. So if I go unique by Michelle Bell.com, oh, it's still unique by Michelle Bell.com, okay. It might take a little bit longer. But anyways, once it sets, you know, maybe takes 10 minutes or so, it's going to take it directly to here, okay? So that's how you do a domain. Super simple, super easy. I highly recommend it. Um, it is a yearly fee with the domain, so it's going to charge you, you know, that 12, 10, 12, whatever, every year with your card on file, so be aware of that. But what a small fee to pay to have a really easy-to-remember name that you can send people to. So highly recommend it. Check it out. And it's a good thing. Thanks, guys.